Okay, before we get into this, I just want to go through a kit map guide. If you've never played kit map and you've actually just came on Minecraft for the first ever time, I actually firstly want to talk about what this game mode is. If you've ever played HF or Hardcore Factions or watched it, basically this is pretty much the very, very similar to that. But what the difference of this is, is actually a current PvP. Basically, it carries on, carries on, carry on. And basically, you can't actually um, go raidable and you can't lose any of your loot you put inside your base. If you put that loot in the base, it will always stay there. The difference is with this as well, there's like loads of war zones, crafts, con conquests, and etc. Which will actually give you the kills. Also, there's unlimited kits, which we'll get into in a bit of the video, guys, in a bit later. And basically, you've got full kits, and you can completely use these unlimited amount of times you would like to. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. You can actually go ahead and get points. Every single kill you get, you get points, which honestly makes it so you get onto F-Top, which will be actually money for the F-Top, guys, um, which that is a price for it. So, make sure to go for it. SOTW is uh, every Saturday at 11 a.m. EST, guys. So make sure to go ahead and play. There's a new map and Warzone every Saturday. So I'm pretty sure that means there's a kit map reset every single Saturday, which is a lot different than any other kit map. This is why you should play cold. Okay, so firstly, I want to show you guys how to create a faction. So what you want to do is actually have to create um, test or whatever, guys, you would like your name to be. So if I go ahead and do this with two Ts, of course, it's existing. So if I do that and then F who, you basically can see that I've actually gone ahead and created a faction on here, which is actually really cool. So basically, after you create a faction, you would need to know how to claim land. So I'll quickly go ahead and show you guys this. Okay, what you want to do is basically run down the road. Only 280 blocks it is. It's actually 250 as far as I know, but they are pre-claims right there or the war zone or something like that. So what you want to actually go ahead and do is do such F claim. After this, what you want to do is pick a side, either anywhere in the side. You need to make sure you're one gap like apart from another claim. So say this is a claim you want to go one block. And you want to be one block from road so you would like to claim this block and you will actually go ahead and click left click you have not set both positions of the claim section so there so you left click it to start with and then you go ahead and claim over here which this actually will go ahead and right click this now so left and right and then you will actually go ahead and fd all as you've fd all it will give you 250 which actually isn't enough so you want to go ahead and right click again and then crouch and left click what this will actually do is go ahead and claim the land for you shift and left click the ground okay so there you go you can see now if i do f map this is my claim if you are trying to claim inside of another claim this will not actually work whatsoever so make sure you are not claiming another claim but there you go guys that's how you claim your claim okay so we're gonna go over every single kit on kill cold kit map and basically explain what these do so of course we're gonna go ahead and start with scout what scout is is basically it gives you speed to jump boost and resistance and it gives you some iron armor which you might be like this isn't very good comparing you can get a diamond full kit but what's so OP with this kit? It gives you an actual fishing rod, which if you go ahead and lean, you could actually grab yourself and fly with it every single five seconds, guys. So boom, grapple. Every single five seconds, you can actually grapple and it makes you go flying, which is awesome with the scout kit. Okay, so we move over to kit builder. What kit builder is, is very self-explanatory. Basically, this is a builder kit. This is no PvP kit whatsoever. This will actually be a kit where you can go ahead and get free loot to actually build your base. If you need any loot to build traps, bases, etc. Okay, so we're going to skip ninja kit. The reason due to this is it's actually disabled at this current point. So yeah, let's move over to blaze kit. What blaze kit does is actually gives you a fire charge. What you can do with this fire charge is so many different things. And basically what you just saw there is you can chuck a fire charge at other opponents. And you can actually go ahead and basically just chuck it at them. And they will take damage, a bunch of damage from that kit, which is honestly insane. And another thing you can do is fly. As far as I know, you can go ahead and use fly in PvP, which will give you a spawn blaze or something like that. And it will make you fly, which is also insane with this kit. Then we're moving over to Phantom Kit. 
Phantom Kit is another custom thing, but what the Phantom one will do is actually go ahead and make you basically go forwards, which is like a speed jump, or you could say the grappler again. And it also gives you invisibility, which is another really OP kit. And basically, it just makes you go forwards and flies, guys. Okay, so we're moving over to the Hulk kit now. What the Hulk kit actually does, if, if you actually go ahead and click someone using this rod which is a carrot on the stick what this will actually go ahead and do is pick up the opponent after you pick up the opponent you can do pretty much anything with the opponent you can chuck them off you can chuck them in the sky you can chuck them down a void or anything like that which is super op to think about it you could make someone die of full damage or anything or you could take them to your trap Okay, so we're moving over to the Smasher Kit right now. The Smasher Kit, what this actually does is basically will make you so you smack onto the ground, onto a different opponent, and basically it makes it so it actually goes ahead and affects the opponent, which you would expect. So basically it does an absolute ton of damage to the opponent if you can go ahead and smack them, guys. But of course, I don't have anyone to test this with at this current point, so I can't show you exactly what it is. But guys, trust me. You basically right click this or left click it whichever one and you will actually smack basically them and make them deal so much damage then we actually have the row kit which is a normal kit map kit basically this is actually a kit that gives you speed three jump boost two and resistance and golden swords what this does is makes it so you can actually rogue them in the back the only place you can do is in the back so basically Whilst you are actually in the back, you can deal four hearts of damage or three and a half hearts, I should say, of damage each hit, which makes it really OP for your opponents if you're in a faction team fight or anything like that to actually kill them. Then we've got Archer. What Archer does is basically you get a bow and arrow and the Archer kit, which is a full leather armor. And if you tag someone uh, or anything, basically it does like 25% more damage to your opponent. Some servers is 15%, so it could be 15 or 25. It would come in chat saying how much damage it does. And basically, if your opponents hit them, they have such a high chance of quick dropping because, of course, you're doing 25% more damage to the opponent. Then we've got Kit Diamond. Kit Diamond is always the same. It's the same as anything. Basically, this is the main tank kit, the main fighting kit, and you basically get a full diamond set, and you can just tank in this. This is the main like fighting kit and all of that. Then we've got the last kit, which is the Bard kit. This is a kit that you basically give passive effects, or passive effects, I mean, to opponents. And this actually gives you so much different like uh, write-ups on it, which is really easy. So you've got speed, strength, uh, fire res, you've got jump boost, you've got resistance, and regeneration for your team, which you actually have to build up energy over time. And you can actually give yourself, like teammates passive effects just by scrolling them all the time, or you could give them strength too by right clicking the effect once you get enough class level okay so this is actually going to go ahead and talk about how to get yourself a uh, points on the server for f top so if i do f top you can see people have points on here how you actually do gain points on here is by killing people and doing events if i do events basically this will actually go ahead and give you loads of points which if i get this faction points 500 break five iron blocks without getting the totem broken by other factions this gives you 500 points then we've got the throne rewards 30 dollars by craft and then we've got dtc last break compete against other factions to break the last core faction points 400 guys then we've got citadel this will actually uh you compete against other factions with a team fighting faction and you control over captions of the citadel which normally is a 15 minute citadel and you get 500 points for less then we've got Conquest, it's the same, but there's four different capture points, and you actually have to capture them. After 30 seconds, it will reset and gives you the points in this first one to capture the most points. We've got Faction Tournament, this is actually a completely different thing. This is basically two teams, two different factions, and this will be set up by the owners, and basically you fight against each other. Whoever wins, wins 500 points. Slide, complete with other factions in order to capture an easily knockable cough, gives you 400 points. Then rampage kill others to actually get given uh have the most kills during the given time event you get 300 kill the king one player is given the title of the king be first to kill them basically this will be a custom reward but basically what this is is you get one person with a powerful powerful sword and kit and you basically get that 
Purge is all players will not be allowed to only open chests, uppers, fence gates inside of enemy claims. So you can basically open everything in enemies' claims. It's crazy, guys. It's very, very OP. Um, so yeah, you can grab anything in there. Uh, Bimble, uh, jump into a pool of water and where you land becomes a block if you land. And we've got double XP. Of course, you get double XP. Nexus, compete against other factions to break four cores and gain points to win. You get 600 points for that. Then DCC, DTC, compete against other factions to break the core, which is 400 points for that. And then key all, of course. Then a package all, which is just packages and stuff like that. Okay, so basically how to compete in faction top and leaderboards, etc. Basically, you have to compete in every single event that I've just gone through. And you basically have to PvP with your faction and become the most like person with the most kills and try not to die. Because every death you do lose points, but every kill you do gain points. So make sure to grind, make sure to carry on playing to become on top of leaderboards. How to make bases on HF. Basically, what you would like to do is go ahead and claim like I've showed you at the start of the video. After you claim, you want to go ahead and get the kit builder. Kit builder then will go ahead and actually give you all the necessary blocks you need and all of that of building. After you built your base, what you want to do is basically set F home inside. And then this will actually make it so you can F home every single time. Um, and basically that's exactly how you make your base it's very very easy and self-explanatory just go ahead and do that build a nice base build a horrible base build a six high base build a four block base three high anything to trap like that. okay guys so i just want to go through the polls right now so polls on cold network um basically you can actually pull through so many different uh traps you can actually tally pearl on here you can pull through slabs you can pull through so many different methods it's honestly crazy and it's gonna be insane this map will be the best honestly okay so this is a question a lot of guys wow a lot of you guys will have is how to get set up on SOTW to get good basically to get it set up all you gotta do is basically get on early get on when SOTW starts get your claim do your builder kit start building a three high base i would honestly suggest a three high base if you guys would like to because this will actually give you loads of like uh op stuff this will, will actually give you so you guys could trap people quite easily and all of that but if you guys do have a bit of money uh to the side of you a bit paypal or anything guys um basically what you can do is go ahead and do such buy and you can actually go ahead and buy yourself actually g kits on the server this will actually go ahead and make it so you guys get so many opg kits on the server which gives you better kits which is going to make it a lot easier for you guys to kill people next thing um on the hf what you normally can do is a reclaim reclaim is actually where it gives you keys and everything like that and this is something you can do on here as well i'm pretty sure i have one and sadly i don't have one at the moment but there will be a reclaim Basically, when you reclaim, you get keys, you get packages, you get like so much different items, which will also get you set up so, so fast for SOTW of the kit map or any server you play at all. You can actually do such surprise on here. What this will actually do is give you random keys. This will actually give you random like stuff on here, which is awesome, guys. You can get so much OP stuff. I just went ahead and got this much stuff from just doing such surprise, guys. It's honestly really, really OP, and I would suggest you guys to do it. Next part thing is you can actually do such support on here. Uh, I just spelled support wrong, completely wrong. And this will actually go ahead and allow you to support anyone on here. This is all of the creators currently. There is going to be more because, of course, I'm going to be a creator on here myself now. So you can actually go ahead and create, uh, click support your creator. I'm going to do Juna. And basically, after you do that, you actually go ahead and support. And you do usually get some items. I'm not sure if they haven't set that up at the moment or they're not going to set it up. But yeah, that's what you can go ahead and do. It's very important for you guys to be playing every SOTW. Every SOTW are on weekends at Saturday at 11 a.m. EST. All of this will actually basically uh, make it so you guys can get PayPal rewards and everything like that. So make sure you guys get on and make sure you go ahead and play every single SOTW, guys. To keep up to date with Cold Network, it's very, very important you do so. Okay, this is something I said at the start. You couldn't actually go raidable on kit map, but on here you can actually go raidable over time. I think you get more DTR on kit map, or you lose less DTR to make it more fun. But there is actually a chance you could go raidable on the kit map on cold if you die too many times. Okay, guys. So this is actually something that's very unique and different. I actually had to ask where it is so I knew. So basically, you come from spawn and then you go to the left, Mars. Explore a new world. 
Uh, it is spooky and mis mysterious, but during the map, great things will happen here. Good luck. So basically, this is actually a quartz factory. Um, you can actually farm here. There is coughs and everything. You can farm here, get money. You can get loot. You can get all sorts of crate keys, everything here. And you can actually get custom loot here also. So it's honestly really, really insane. And it's honestly so, so cool in my opinion to have this since it is custom. Okay, so... We are actually going to explain how to go to end and go to the end exit. Basically, we want to find a portal. There's going to be so many portals in the world. Right now, there isn't any. So, I'm going to go through, guys. This is how you go through. So, you get a portal or you make a portal, basically, guys. And after you go through, you want to actually go to the end exit. If you're on a lunar client, you will actually be able to find an exit. You want to actually run over to here. And this will actually go ahead and make you go through end exit. This will NTP you on the road, guys. 300 down south road. And then you can run back to spawn or run to your base. There is actually going to be something that they've never really done on here on cold. There is actually going to be cash prizes on here. There is actually 150 euros for the top, top faction on F top, guys. So if you come on here and you want some free money with your faction, you can go ahead and have a chance to win 150 euros, guys. Okay, so you've actually got ability items on here. So if I do such ability open, this will actually open a whole entire ability. So there's so many different abilities on here. So you basically could go ahead and read them through yourself. These do all so many different things on here. There's so many things included. There's so many OP things. There's so many different ones as well. This is insane. There's no other server with this many ability items for you guys. So you can actually go ahead and win any of these. You could get them out of crates. You could get them out of rewards or anything like that. You guys can go ahead and do the menu to yourself to actually read through everything if you would like to on the server. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys partner packages, god ability, v2, ability, cold, and v2 crate keys, and some partner keys, guys. This is something I need to show you guys because this is really, really OP, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. So partner package, this is what I was just going through, and this is actually going to basically allow you to win yourself some partner things. This gives you actually three different partner items, so I run rage, strength, pre pal, and all of that out of that, which is really, really OP. So if I get out of V right now, guys, uh, wait, am I in, oh, I think I'm in H, no, I'm not. I'm not really sure why I can't move stuff, uh, that's just an issue for me. Then we've got god ability packages, this is going to give you different ability, uh, like abilities, it's going to give you different things. This is a really OP ability um, package, so yeah, let's go ahead and show you this, guys, right now. So this gave me really OP stuff, then we've got the V2 loot box. Then we've got ability loot box, of course. Then we've got the cold. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. This will actually also give you super OP stuff, guys, which I'm going to show you right now. So if I go ahead and show you, I won a seven-day V2 cheat kit voucher. That's honestly really OP. Event set voucher. Uh, pay die, seven day diamond kit voucher. This is OP, guys. Trust me, you guys want to buy this. You can buy this all on the store, guys. If you guys would like to go ahead and do so, ability loot box. You've got ability, then you've got the cold package, then you've got the keys, of course, which you can go ahead and open at spawn, which is over here, guys. If you guys would like to go ahead and open yourself some partner keys, guys, this can give you so much OP partner items and stuff like that. If you actually don't have a faction on cold network, what you can actually go ahead and do is actually do such p top it's actually a solo based thing basically on here and it actually allows you to play by yourself and actually gives you op rewards for actually like playing by yourself and getting on top of that which is honestly really really handy and very nice of the server to do so. okay so i'm going to go through and show you everything i need to so we got actual tags on here you can actually go ahead and buy all tags off the store if you guys would like or you could win them uh on the like items and stuff so that's all of the tanks they have on here then we've got actually such playtime uh rewards so if i do that guys you can actually get rewards for this like tokens crates and everything if you guys go ahead and play this is really really sick how you can actually get that is honestly insane then we've got such quest guys quest you can do different quests on here to also reward get rewards and stuff from that as well then we've got leaderboards guys leaderboards is basically showing you guys if who if you're close to the top close to getting rewards and stuff like that then we've got actual slash quest actually i've just shown that then we've got such bounty guys this is actually going to go ahead and bring up a bounty this is actually how you put basically put a bounty so you can bounty set player amount you can put a bounty in. and what a bounty actually does is basically the person who kills him actually gets points so if you want someone really dead you put like let's say 500 000 on the person or 500 and people will target that person 
set with the bounty because they want the money they receive then finally we have ah on here guys ah is basically the auction house what you have on general factions guys if you ever play factions this is something you can actual ah and make money off of and actually sell really op rewards on here which actually makes it so you can actually uh buy stuff uh from the server that you can't actually get without buying from the shop people might ah that and stuff like that okay so moving on to the final thing i want to show in case in this video guys is basically the cold network store if you guys want to purchase anything i've shown in this video or anything exactly like Brent buster has done right here guys you actually want to go ahead and do like go on the store which is store.coldnetwork.net and basically you can go ahead and buy yourself anything on this store right now they actually have sales they have a really cool store looking like on here which i really like and you can actually buy any of the ranks on kitmap hf practice uhc price g and all of that then you've got the global stuff guys punishments and transfers then you've got the kit maps which is loot boxes bundles simply um and so much other stuff you have items g kits commands events and you have so much so make sure to go ahead and check out this guys if you would like to actually purchase anything on the store uh on the store of cold and yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video here hopefully this helped you at all if it did leave a comment below leave a like subscribe to the cold network channel guys for more tutorials like this have a good one guys